Okay, let's talk about the traffic, shall we? Atlanta traffic is a challenge uh, on good days. That's the charitable way of putting it. Uh, today I came down here to the Bank of America building. Uh, the downtown connector was pretty packed. Sky Fox 5 over the connector. It's actually just below uh, where we're sitting here on the 24th floor of the Bank of America building. Uh, and it's still packed. We can expect uh, the traffic is going to be tough all weekend long. That's why folks have been encouraging us to take MARTA. Although you'll remember back during the Super Bowl, it was pretty easy to get downtown, to be perfectly honest about it. Uh, one other challenge is the fact that there are lots of road closures that are not typical. So let's toss out now to uh, Fox 5's Will Nunley. He has a look at which roads are closed and more will be closed uh, as the weekend approaches. Will? And Russ, for the past week, we've been telling you about those closures on Baker Street and MLK in the area, of course, surrounding the stadium. But now those road closures are starting to expand out as more venues are opening around the Super Bowl activities. And now it's Midtown's turn. You don't see this every day. All four lanes of busy Peachtree Street in Midtown closed to traffic for days at a time. But here's why. The NFL Honors Program is setting up around the Fox Theater. It's a big show for our Super Bowl guests, and it requires lots of room for TV trucks and a red carpet. But for Atlanta drivers, it's another red zone to avoid. Oh, wow. Navigating Atlanta traffic. Well, they say, you know, the Georgia Bulldogs are red, the Falcons are red, the traffic on your ways is red. Atlanta native and Midtown driver Jennifer Ladd says navigating downtown has been a practice in patience. I'm making it through, getting, getting a little angry here and there. Frustration is definitely there, so make sure just mentally prepare yourself for the frustration before you leave because it's, it's going to come. To help you avoid some frustration, take note of these closures. As of now, Peachtree Street is closed between Ponce de Leon and 3rd Street. Saturday, Northside Drive will be shut down between Ivan Allen and MLK. As more roads like this one close down, MARTA officials urge you to take advantage of rail and ride chairs but if you have to be on the roads, just be on high alert and watch out. And Rush, you really hit the main idea earlier. The best route from this point forward all weekend long is going to be to utilize MARTA and rideshare because even the most normal commute, if there is such a thing in Atlanta, can be expanded by uh, minutes, if even hours at this point, if you're trying to get in certain areas of town. If you missed any of those road closures, we have them for you posted right now at fox5atlanta.com forward slash Super Bowl if you need another look before you head out. Live in Midtown, Will Nunley, Fox 5 News. All right, well done, Will. Another thing that's worth pointing out is that parking near Centennial Olympic Park really is quite expensive at this point. Uh, you can't get parking for less than 12 hours and, and $20, in my experience, down there in the last couple of days. All right, do you have a drone that you really like? Do not bring it down to the Super Bowl area. The FBI is warning folks to leave your drones at home. If you fly it, you might get fined. You might even end up in jail. A 